Okay, so let's set up your new uh, graphical calculator. So I'm going to turn it on. We're going to choose uh, English is currently selected as the language. So we go next. Uh, backlight. Well, you can make it darker or brighter if you want to. I'm going to leave it. Click next. Um, actually, backlight duration is worth changing because it's a bit of a pain when it goes off so quickly so i'm going to change that to one minute can you see these function keys here you'll get used to using these with those options so i want one minute so it's not a touch sensitive screen so i'm just pressing the function key underneath one minute and then next uh, it comes with a set of alkaline batteries so i'm going to select those if at any point you replace the batteries with rechargeables then they'll be nickel metal hydride so i'm going to select that uh, yes, OK, and then finish. And we're away. So you've got your cursor here that can display, uh, it can move around that display. So run matrix is where you do your sums. So there we go. 5 plus 4 equals 9, and it's got all manner of uh, options, um, and we'll play with those as we go through the summer. If we go back to menu and go to graph and press XE, I'm going to type in a, uh, a graph and plot it. These are Y equals graphs, so that's the default setting. I can change that if I want. Um, I'm going to plot Y equals X squared, so I just type in this button here is my X button. It's also used for other things, but at the moment it's my X button. X and then the squared button and I'm going to press XE and I'm going to tell it I want to draw it so that's this option here and there it is and I can use the plus and minus buttons to zoom in and out and then this button here says GT that switches between the graph and the table I'm bored of that now so I'm going to go to menu Back to sums mode, and I'm going to turn it off. Good stuff. I ought to add that um, although it comes with a cable that looks suspiciously like a charging cable and a port that looks suspiciously like a charging port, that uh, is not used to charge it. So unfortunately, it uses batteries which need replacing. We find it lasts; they last a long time though, so it's not a huge problem. Um, that cable is used to connect it to a computer, which uh, can be used to update the software and a variety of other techniques. But um, for now, I would use it standalone. Okay.